Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Welcome to the show. And welcome. I just go bye welcome bye. to the show. Uh, we're outside doing some outside things. Um, Raylan, come look at this can. It's really sparkly. No, you, you come look closer. You can't see it good from there. <laughs> Guys, look at how many colors. It's sparkly. It's like a magic can. You see it? How many colors do you see? I see all different kinds of sun colors. All different kinds? Yeah. Jack, what do you think? Look at it. I don't know what it is. Let's pour it in and see what it looks like. Pour it in and see what it looks like? Yeah, I wonder what color it will. All right, ready? So this is glitter parts from Levante in uh, uh, <coughs> Westchester, Pennsylvania. Glitter parts IPA. It contains coconut, <coughs> vanilla, lactose. And on the hops, it's Citra, Eldorado, Simcoe, and Mosaic. 6.8%. Let's see. Now, uh, my uh, my buddy Kyle was uh, saying that. Oh, Jack, you got to move over. You're blocking the camera, bud. <laughs> that he was excited about this beer. Um, no, what's the Look at that. So I poured it in. The, this is my first pour of tired hands. The tired hands glassware, uh, improper glassware, but I was just excited to use it. Um, so one thing off the bat, I can smell this. Before I even get my nose on it, which is kind of cool. Um, let's get in there, though. So it smells really good. It smells, to me, more hoppy than coconutty. Um, so I'm definitely picking up. There's also kind of this interesting sort of odiness that's there. Kind of almost, uh, almost sort of, uh, like children's crayons, you know, crayons. If you, uh, if you smell the crayons, they have that very distinctive sort of, like, you know, sort of papery kind of, like, waxy papery thing. Every now and then I smell things that absolutely, so there's some association I have, I'm not exactly sure what it is, I think it's on the malty side, that like, I, I often get a crayon, a crayon-like uh, component. So, but I mean, it smells beautiful. This has, I mean, the hops are absolutely, to me, the star of the show. The, the color looks super hazy and juicy and uh, tropical. But what's funny is I'm actually not getting a ton of coconut on the nose. Let's see what we get on the palate. So, here's what I'm going to say. I really like this beer. Uh, I think it is tropical, like the hops and the combination that they use make it absolutely like a juicy tropical beer. Uh, I like that the lactose is restrained. Uh, I mean, it's got a velvety mouthfeel. It's not sweet, so they didn't they didn't go too heavy-handed with the lactose. Um, but I'm actually not getting a ton of coconut. And you know what? I mean, that's kind of okay. You know, they're not claiming, I mean, they say that it has coconut in it. They're not saying like, hey, this is a, like, you know, Fieldwork has a beer called Coconut Milk IPA. And if it's not screaming coconut, it feels like bad marketing. This is called Glitter Parts IPA. And in very small writing, it says contains coconut, vanilla, and lactose. No. Reggie's going to go one more time and then no. you can have it. Oh, what? No, I'm not. Let Jack have a time. turn, buddy. We gotta share. Well, I want it to be really long time. All right, go one more time, okay? No, really long time. <coughs> yeah, so I would definitely say, in conclusion, very good beer. I like it. I would seek this beer out again, and I would recommend this beer. And you know, coconut can be one of those polarizing flavors. So, you know. The fact that they're 
very restrained on the coconut is probably a good thing to appeal to more people. Um, uh, is it in the garage, bud? But it's really good. I would say uh, it's tropical. It's sort of fruity and islandy, but it's not artificial in any way. Like, I'm not getting, like, fake coconut flavoring. I'm not getting any, like, weird, overly pina colada island kind of, like, gunk. I mean, it's... I like how subtle they are with it. And it's solid. It's a good beer. It tastes really good. I would I would go somewhere and I would want to order this because it tastes good. I mean, it's definitely heavy. Like, the lactose adds so much mouthfeel and body that it does kind of feel like a meal. But it's still really good. So, cheers, Levante. I like this beer a lot. Thank you, Kyle. And uh, happy weekend, everybody. Cheers! Come on.